Lithium backed by gold out of Mali. Don't miss it. Winton, welcome. Let's talk about Beremian Limited, about your beautiful company. You are working in the uh, gold and lithium space. So what's your company about? Where are you based? Where are you located? Uh, Jochen, thanks so much for having me here. Our, our assets are in Mali. We have gold assets and lithium assets, as you've said. We've had our gold assets for a few years. We've developed them up really well and we're very pleased with the way that's gone. We've got an asset there that we think will be mined very soon. More excitingly and more recently, we've got a lithium project that we acquired in March. We've now developed that to the place where, to a point where we'll have a jork resource in the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. We're really excited about that project. We think it's a world-class project and we think we'll be in production really soon. Mm -hmm. Oh, fantastic. So we see here already a lithium uh, drill hole, yeah? And uh, yeah, it looks like uh, really, really exciting and uh, you found already a lot of stuff. So let's move to your lithium project, to the Buguni project. Can you elaborate a little bit? What's going on there? What are the grades, for example? What have you found so far? So we have done a lot of drilling, you're right, Jochen. We've done all, a little bit more than 5,000 holes over, since we've owned the project over the last few months. Mm -hmm. We've been really pleased with the grades and the widths that we've been getting. Our grades have been upward toward 2% and our widths have been first class, world class grades. So we're really excited about the, what's likely to be a, a um, very positive scoping mm -hmm. study outcome, yeah. jork resource and scoping, sco scoping study outcome yeah. over time. As you can see on your screen there, we've got a expiration target of plus 15 million tonnes, yeah, which will make it a, yeah. a long mine life and very profitable operation. Uh -huh. So that means you want to bring this into production, of course, right? We do, we do. So we hope to be in production in the early part of, or to start building our mine in the early part of 2018, and we hope to be in production in that same year. Mm -hmm, perfect. What mine life could we expect out of that? Just roughly, I mean. Well, if you back of the envelope it, and there's 15 million tonnes there, and we build a 1 million tonne throughput plant, there's 15 million uh, 15 years, yeah. but I'll be really disappointed if we don't increase our target. Yeah. I, I think there'll be a whole lot more there than 15 million. That's right. That, that's why the drills are turning. And I think you had the last night, you had fantastic drill results out, right? We did. So we put the last of our assay results out to the market this morning and they were our best, excellent intercepts, great grades and really shows that this project is one of the best undeveloped lithium projects in the world. Mm -hmm, fantastic. As we see here on the, that map, I think it starts already outcropping in the surface, right? It, it does, it does. It sticks out of the ground, so it'll all be open pit. It'll be uh, easy to mine in that, in that respect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, fantastic. Um, as, as I know, uh, this is open pitable, of course, and uh, maybe there may be an underground scenario in the future, but this is way, way far to, to uh, let's say, um, away uh, for many, many years. But uh, can you give our viewers an idea how much money you have to take in the hand approximately, let's say, really as a speculation, because you have to do the work next year. But is it like, do we talk about 50 million, 500 million or a billion dollars? Look, we've, we've been trying to work that out ourselves, and it obviously matters um, how the scoping and pre-fees studies come out so that we know how big a plant we should build. Mm -hmm. But nothing comes out anywhere near 100 million, so we'll be well under that. Okay, so that's, I would say, pretty much doable, right? Oh yeah, very, very confident we can get Fantastic. that money. Fantastic, great. So, I mean, lithium, obviously it's a great scenario, but you have also gold. And this is what I like with your story because your lithium is backed by gold and vice versa, I would call it. So let's talk about the Masigui gold project you have. Uh, since how long you are working on that? Look, we've had that for a few years and Kevin, our MD, has done a great job there. We've drilled over 35,000 metres of drilling and in that time we've made three discoveries. We, we th we've got a, well, we haven't declared an exploration target, but we're pretty confident there's a mineable amount of gold there. Mm -hmm. it, it's located right next to the Marilla gold mine, which we know is running out of ore. We're, we're, it, it makes when? when are they running out of ore? Look, I, I think they're pretty much out now. They're, I understand wow. they're running tailings through it and uh, looking for some ore. Well, it would make sense that with our ore 20 kilometres down the road, that'll get mined through that mm -hmm. mill. We, we don't know that for sure, yeah. and we're still talking with Rangold, but it does make sense. But it means you are already in negotiations, right, with them? Look, we have or a good let's say talking to them. We have a good relationship with yeah. Rangold. They've provided us with a lot of help over the time. They've been good and open. We, have a, we had an MOU with them some years ago where they gave us access to all their previous mining mm -hmm. data. So, look, I think that shows they want us to go exploring and find some gold and, and from our end, we want them to mine our gold that we find. So yeah, it, it's makes, a good partnership. Makes pretty much sense. Mm. Yeah. So that means um, if this is all done, let's say it works out next year, let's assume, yeah, that means you can create like a positive cash flow for the company, right? Sure, sure. So if, if, if uh, our existing ore gets mined, uh, gets processed through the Marilla, Marilla mine, we will have cash flow and, and we'll use that as judiciously as we can, but we'll go try and find some more gold. Mm -hmm, fantastic. Um, by the way, how much money is in the bank? 
Uh, we've got about eight, eight and a bit million Aussie at the moment, 8.3 I think right now. Mm -hmm. So we're well funded. We, we, we don't see any need to need any more money until we yeah. get to a stage where we want to build that plant at the yeah. lithium project. Oh, fantastic. So that money will last uh, quite a long time, right? Oh yeah, it'll last yeah, for the next years easily. Easily. Yeah. So, so our, our corporate burn rate's really low. We spend about $55,000 a month on our corporate burn rates. Mm, that's, well, that's like nothing. It is not yeah. very much. It's, we, we run it really well. Like our MD, Kevin, is a very mm. frugal man when it comes to spending corporate money, which is great in yeah. the circumstances we are. So yeah, we're well off for cash. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll have cash in the bank when we push the button on building the Super. That, that's, that's what investors like to hear for sure. <laughs> let's talk about uh, the future. Let's talk about your exciting next steps. I mean, we see it here. You have checked the boxes so far. You have delivered what you have set. So what is upcoming next? Let's say we are now in the fourth quarter of 2016. And what is coming up in 2017? Give us a short idea. OK, well, in the next week, say two, week or two weeks, 10 days, we'll, we'll publish our Jork resource, which mm -hmm. our guys are busily working on at the moment. That'll be pretty shortly followed by a scoping study, which we'll hope to have done by the end of the year or thereabouts. Mm -hmm. No doubt that'll be positive. The, the project really stacks up, so that'll be a good story when that comes out. We'll then spend the next year um, permitting and, mm -hmm. and uh, all the associated work that goes along with that so that we can hopefully push the button at the beginning of 2018 on building our plant. Wow, fantastic. That sounds uh, yeah, like a very yeah, comprehensive story and also you are yeah, in a real shortcut uh, to production, right? Oh yeah, we're, we're, we're near, flow, near cash flow in yeah. hopefully both our gold and our lithium projects. Wow, fantastic. Winton, thank you very much for that. Great insight and all the best. And uh, yeah, I want to interview you next year then and you tell me that you have uh, again ticked the boxes. Thank you, Jochen. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Winton Willisi, the chairman of Beremian Limited. And uh, yeah, I mean, you heard it. It's a fantastic lithium and gold story out of Mali. And uh, I think the key factor here is uh, that they have outstanding lithium grades on the one hand. On the other hand, they can be in production in 2018. It's less $100 million is the capex for the company. I think that's pretty much doable and achievable. And uh, also the gold option, I would call it, is backing the company. And uh, I'm pretty sure they will get something done there with Morilla, with the mine, with uh, Renko and Angler Gold, Ashanti and other owners uh, yeah, to get very fast track some cash flow for the company. I'm your host, Jochen Steiger, Commodity TV, in partnership with Dukas Copy. Thanks for watching us. Bye bye from Geneva.